I recently have seen a lot of videos about people posting about their morning routines and like what the ideal morning routine is and what you should do to make sure that you have an amazing day. So I want to take this topic and kind of make a little variation on it where I want to talk about how I start my day using Monday. Maybe it'll give you some ideas about how you can get started the right way to make sure that you understand what tasks you need to do that day, what needs to be taken care of, what fires there are that you need to deal with, and just have a general understanding of everything that's going on. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. So I actually start my day in my email, not in Monday. I open up my email. I make sure that there's no fires, no emergencies, anything that I need to take care of. If I see emails, that is a quick response that I can deal with within under three minutes. So I'll just respond to those emails and archive them. Then whatever is left within my emails, I make tasks out of those items. Sometimes they're bigger projects. Sometimes they're smaller things that I need to add within Monday. So I write all of those tasks. At that point, then I go to Monday because basically I've cleared my inbox and now everything is in Monday. Now in my Monday board, we have a task board. Essentially everyone in the company works on one task board and we just divide it with different views where you can see only the tasks that are assigned to you. Now we have a system that we've implemented in our company called Batman and Robin. And the system is that Batman is the person that's responsible for a task. I don't know if you remember the really old Batman and Robin movies, but in those or cartoons in those Batman is kind of like, oh, I'm the guy in charge. I'm Batman. But he doesn't actually save the day, but he kind of takes credit for it. It's Robin that actually does the task. So the concept is that Batman is the person that's in charge. They're making sure things are moving. They're making sure they're getting in touch with the client, that projects are moving forward. But the actual people doing the task are the Robins. This also makes it for a really easy naming convention. So that way you can just know like, oh, I'm the Robin of the task. I'm Batman of the task. But that's a side point when you are working on assigning roles to people within your company. So what I do is we have two different views, one for Batman tasks and one for Robin tasks. The Batman tasks are all the tasks that I need to review, like all the work that's come in and someone either has a question for me or they want to show me something's completed so I can send it off to a client. So we have a status label called Batman review and I have a view that's also Batman review. And then I just sort by Batman review and I can see every single thing that I need to review. I go through all of those items and I send off responses to people. It's usually pretty quick questions or I need to get back to a client with a question again, pretty quick. So I clear up all my Batman tasks. Then I move to my Robin tasks. My Robin tasks are the tasks that I actually need to do today. So I take the time to review my tasks and figure out what's something that I actually really need to do today. What's something that can wait. I actually notice that I always have a lot of tasks that are kind of just ideas that I want to put somewhere to remember, but not tasks that I'm doing on a daily basis. So I created another group for those of ideas and I just make sure that they're there or move them as I get more ideas. So I have my Robin tasks. I have my Batman tasks, which are usually done, although they do come out throughout the day. And then based on that, I can plan my day. I look at my calendar and I see where my meetings are. And then based on the Robin tasks that I know I need to do and the size of them, I actually will block out time within my calendar to schedule those because I know if not, I'm going to get distracted with something else and then I'm never going to get to that task. So just to summarize, like I said, I start with email, clean up my email, put everything in Monday, and then I go to Monday. I look at my Batman tasks, which are the tasks that I'm managing of other people, give responses to things that people are waiting on. And then I look at my Robin tasks. If everything, anything's quick, I'll do it. And if things need my dedicated, devoted time where I can spend time on it, I schedule it within my calendar. That's my basic morning routine and how I get started with Monday. Oh, one last thing I forgot to, to mention. I also have a dashboard. I check out my dashboard, which has everything like people's time tracking that they did throughout the week, our different client stats, our different information about the company, like revenue, how many clients we have. It's just a good place where I, I have one dashboard where I can check in on all of the high level metrics of how the company's doing. So that's my morning routine with monday.com. Let me know your morning routine. How do you start your day? 
Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.